G'day, I'm Mark Berg and welcome to another week of Fishing Addiction, the show that surprises fishers all over Australia with incredible fishing adventures. This is part two of our trip with Big Cat Reality here on magnificent Ken Reef. Can you believe this? Absolutely sensational. Our Fishing Addiction member, Maddie. well, the challenge is looking a little bit dodgy, but you never know in a place like this, he might turn around. But if you missed last week, let's have a quick look back at all the action. Yeah. We're going to take you yeah. with Big Cat Reality fishing for about six or seven days. I'm literally talking about it this morning. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> this fish is about the same size as the Flame and Lure. Look at the colour. Going between locations, it's always a smart move to put out a, a deep diver, and that's what we've done. And this thing's absolutely smoked, this lure. Holy smokes, bro. <laughs> You're supposed to get one, 30 kilos. Oh. I'm calling this fish. It'd be, it's gotta be nudging 50, you'd think, wouldn't you, Jace? <laughs> what a fish! <laughs> Victory! So, we've got it all in front of us for Matty. He's got one fish off the list so far, four more to go. Can he win the $5,000 worth of gear from our very good friends at Wilson and a couple of grand's worth of gear from addicttackle.com.au? Well, we'll soon find out. Let's go fishing. That's a fish. We're just getting into that sort of 20 to 30 metre mark now, so it's probably a, some sort of little trout again or something. You still got it? Yeah. It's a tuna. It's only tiny. No, it is a green job fish. Yeah, nice jobby. One, two, three. Oh, green jobby. Nice fish, good eating fish. Oh yeah, nice jobby. Cool fish. Cool, Very nice, look at those teeth on them. So the teeth on most of these fish, just like the um, coral trout and so forth, just he's regurgitated up some gunk in there. They've got a whole heap of pinning uh, teeth at the front, so they'll pin their prey and then they'll swallow them whole. Very, very powerful predatory fish, they'll pretty much attack anything on the reef, these things, and they happen to be very good eating as well. Awesome colours. That's a nice example, very, very nice. All right, send him home, buddy. Pew! And away he goes. All right, think bigger, think bigger. Cheers. Find a doggy, come on. All right, Lil's back out, boys. Wow, look at this, crazy! Look, coming straight towards us. We're about to go under the boat. Big red bass, I think. Oh, 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 He's on it. Oh. oh, got him. Yes, very nice. Oh, get up. All his mates want the lure out of his mouth. No, you're good, mate. Look at them all in the water. Yeah, it's a big Itra Valley. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that, big Itra Valley in the shallow. So this little gap here is producing, well, so far one fish, and there's so many in there chasing his lure. All right, let's send this guy home, get back in there. See you, buddy. Back to your mates. All right, you're good. Oh, he's on. Got him, little trouty. Trouty, I think. Out of the hole. You gotta get a photo of that too. Never caught a black trout. This is my first one. So what a pretty, cool eh? Fish, so cool. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should have made it the species challenge. Oh, well, you've caught it 27 different species. Thanks, mate. Despite the glorious yet windy conditions, the big fish just didn't want to play. So we made our way back to the boat and hopefully the winds tomorrow are a bit more suitable for fishing out wide. Well, this is day three. 
competition with Big Cat. The wind has dropped about that much, but we'll take it. Anything that's less than yesterday or the day before is a good thing. Let's go fishing, Jace. See you guys. Yeah. Let's do it, eh? <laughs> Oh, what's on that? Got him. Nice trout. Oh, yes. <laughs> How good is that? Sick. That is so good to see that happen. Oh, man, and I loved that. <laughs> that was you fished awesome. that absolutely perfectly, my friend. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Love the black ones, don't I? Yeah, yeah mate, they love you, I think. <laughs> that, look at that in the water, that's amazing. Mate, what a way to fish. Just magnificent conditions. All right, let's get him in, eh? Lovely fish. I can't believe we're not taking that home for a feed. Wow, just support his body there, Jace. That's a great fish. Very nice trout. In the shallows. Holy smokes. Look at that. Is that your PB? Close? Oh, yeah, close. Close, cool. Yeah, it's a good fish. Love it. Yeah, the whole stack of fish swimming in this corner, guys. Once you got it done. Phew. <laughs> nice Stoked work, Matty. Right. Thank you. Now it was time to get outside on that front edge and chase the big dogs. Fish on! I'm just going to nudge us out to see a little bit, guys. Let's keep us moving. Jeez, that Don't worry, the ratchet, nice. just go for him, mate. See, he's still there? Get him up, mate. Not that big. It's a big barracuda. You are buying beers for everyone. <laughs> I deserve it. Let's go in that to pop us into here. Be careful, Jason. Oh, yeah. Well, look at the head on it, would you? <laughs> it's a big, ugly looking thing. <laughs> yeah. Look how silver he is. And they stink. You wait, you smell your hands in a second. Yeah. All right, mate, set him free. Yeah. The way he swims. Well, we came across this front ledge here, and I, it, you know, we trolled it, and we got a stinking barracuda, but it's very castable now. And, you can see all these cracks are becoming more and more exposed as the tide drops. So casting these edges and finding these cracks, this is where we're going to find him, a nice big coral trout. So too hard to resist, back to the casting. But that's the thing about a place like this, the options are endless. You troll, jig, cast, soft plastics. I mean, there's just so many things you can do to catch fish. GT's got him. That's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry. There's a few uh, of them too, Jason. Oh, his mates are with him. <laughs> it's not a big one, so we're not going to go too far, guys. It's going to take us slightly deeper. Jeez, he hit it fast, though, didn't he? Yeah, buddy, hey. Boom! That was cool. Came a little quicker than the one yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lift the leader and his tail at the same time. Yeah, he's still a bit green there, boys. <laughs> That's it, yeah, nice fish. We'll throw him down on the deck here. Yeah, put him on the deck. That's better than I thought it was. Yeah, it was pretty good, eh? Yeah, yeah nice fish <laughs> on the popper. Stoked. Hey, nice one. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Look at old rooster popper does it again. <laughs> The old classic. There's nothing quite, I mean, we got that massive one on the troll, yeah. but to see them actually hitting the lure. That's right. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Is there anything better? No, nothing's better than catching GTs on the barrier reef. Yeah. For me. Look at him. So he'd probably be about 10 kilos, I reckon. Yeah. 10 or 12. All we want now is a bass about the same size. Yeah, absolutely. Or a trout about yeah. the same size. <laughs> All right, buddy, when you're ready, we're going to let him go. Perfect. 
Thought I might send him home. See you, buddy. I'm Jason. Uh, the, I work at Attic Tackle. Um, ended out here with Bergie on a trip. Uh, needed a driver. Put people on the fish. Apparently, I'm the man. <laughs> um, so it's been an uh, amazing, amazing adventure. Um, something I didn't think I'd uh, get to experience in my lifetime. GT's on it, Jase, you yes. got him? <laughs> Everyone hold on, please. <laughs> Go, Jase. Big jeep, mate. Taking us on that 45 degree angle, gonna fish us out. Uh, pull it in, mate. <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo. That's what we want. Hooked a nice jeep, so we're gonna start heading out. We're still on about 10 metres, should be all right there. Gonna get him off the reef. It's good to be out of the tackle store, hey Jace? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Jason's our engineer at the tackle store. He fixes all the reels. There's not much Jace doesn't know about fishing. So to get him out of the <laughs> get him out of attic tackle and out on the water, this is what it's all about. <laughs> How's that big phantom right, eh? It's going to pop us out of gear. Oh, big fish, Jase. <laughs> you often can tell when a fish is on or a really good one because they just don't speak because it's too much pain. It's a good fish. Yeah, that's 20 plus. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's what we came for. Nice, please. Yeah. Hooks are out. Yeah. <laughs> Great fish. So that fish has got to be, I would call him for 22, 23 kilos, mate. What a fight. Oh, I'm blown away. Got no energy left. <laughs> <laughs> Catch a GT, he says. It's Still ready easy. For one. How good is that? A minute of it. That's so good. Well done, well done. Good to get the skipper onto one. Excellent. <laughs> mate, fish like that deserves to live. Absolutely. You turn around, mate, you send him home. One, two, three. Thanks, buddy. Yeah! That was sick. Yeah, Congratulations, <laughs> Thank mate. Thank you very much. Well done, well done. Thank you very much. Oh, that's cool. Let's go do that again. That's living. That's living. <laughs> Hey guys, if you want to support Fishing Addiction, become a member today. Uh, we really try and make dreams come true on this show and uh, with all your support, we, uh, we can do it. But the more members we have, the more trips we can do, the bigger prizes we can give away. So become part of the crew today. Sign up at fishingaddiction.com.au uh, and you never know, it could be your door that I come knocking on next. Originally I started, I grew up tailor fishing with my dad. That's all I did. We never had a boat or anything and then my friends, I did a fair bit of travel and then I come home and my friend finally got a boat. So we started just doing offshore fishing just off the Tweed. Weren't very good, but then, you know, the boats just progressively got bigger and then we just started doing pretty much chasing every fish we could. Um, so now we pretty much just chase, yeah, Spanish GTs, snapper, everything. Nice trout, eh? So popping that out of reef was amazing. Um, finding the little haunts where the fish come from, uh, where they live and where they move at low tide to high tide and all that sort of stuff, and physically uh, positioning a, a lure in the right spot and ticking that goal, everything went to plan and it's just a whole, whole another level. Yeah, beautiful, eh? Good looking water, boys. Far out. Oh! Wow! 
Come down the back, Jason, walk down. An amazing fish, amazing surface strike, just skipping a stick bait across the surface in the shallows out through the breakers. Um, I, I never thought a fish of that calibre in 30 seconds of fighting had that much power. Do not let him get his head down. I'm just going to keep motoring out. Good job, Jace. Nice. How's that hit? Oh. Big slap on the surface. Oh. This is what we've come to Big Cat for, baby. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that that's a, that's not a trout, surely. I've seen it tail, mate. It was a trout, it's got to be a monster trout if it's a trout. So an amazing eye opener and uh, the gear withstood it. Lucky Bergie on the wheel of the boat, so a good boat driver as well. Nice and easy. Oh yeah, big, big trout. Is it or an amberjack? Spangly. We're all guessing. Spangly. Nah, big trout. Holy shivers. Big <laughs> trout. Okay, we need to balance the boat. I need to come this side and go the other side, please. Okay. Okay. Oh you ready? Oh my god. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> oh, that is a trout. Well done, Jason. Holy <laughs> smokes. Can you get that lure out? Oh Woo! That's the one you're god. after, my friend. That is wild. Incredible. Let me ask you this question. When we tell you all that we're sitting on the boat, yeah. we're all talking stories, you know, fishermen, we can't help ourselves. Yeah. When I told you about the big trout, did you kind of believe me or did you think, oh yeah? Only because I've seen them from videos, but when you see them in the in the flesh, that's, an, yeah, just another thing. And oh, look at that! <laughs> Who gets to hug a trout like that? Wow! Oh my goodness. Far out. He had to get one about 10 kilos. This guy would be nudging 16 kilos, I reckon. 15, 16 kilos. What a fish, Jase. <laughs> Look at the head on this so thing. Beautiful. Amazing. What a cool fish. Okay, Jace, lay him over the side there, mate. Give him a bit of a swim. They're tough fish. They normally try to. Yeah, look, he's already trying to go. Go on, buddy. Off you go. Yes. Yay. Thanks, Bergie. Thanks, boys. <laughs> look at me, Bergies. They're bent. <laughs> this is supposed to be Matt's trip, by the way. And Jason has totally taken over. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should go back to fishing. <laughs> oh, that's wicked. Well done, Jason. lads. Well done, mate. That's awesome. That's the one you want, buddy. That's a bloody fish of a lifetime. That is totally a fish of a lifetime. All right, I'll get us back on that corner. What do you reckon? total gobsmack each day I've been out just in awe uh, with the things that I see, things that I've never seen in my life before, uh, the fishing I've experienced, um, just a whole nother level. Oh that was so cool to watch. He must have come four or five times. That was cool. Oh. Sometimes when you're fishing a ledge like this you start to get a little bit disheartened because you're putting in about 30 casts and you think oh is this even going to happen? And then all of a sudden a fish comes out of nowhere. There we go. And we got him. Free spool. On the deck, mate, on the deck. Whew. Oh! That's why fishing the surface is so much fun. To see them actually come out of the water, their backs and their mouths open, chasing your lure. That's exciting. So he'd be about 12, I reckon, maybe 15 kilos. He feels just shy of a bag of cement. Oh, what a cool fish. Oh, the apex predator in the shallow waters here at Ken Reef. Cool fish, it deserves to live. Go on, buddy. Away oh, you guys. Funny thing is, the older I get, the heavier those fish are starting to feel. You know the feeling, Jase? Yes, I do. <laughs> you wouldn't know, Matty, you're a spring chicken. 
There is so much more to fishing than just the fish. It gives us the opportunity to be immersed in the natural world, and it is this aspect of fishing that can help us deal with the challenges that life throws at us. And it's for this reason that we're so glad to have Jason along on this trip. Um, so yeah, experienced a bit of loss. Uh, fam found my mother at the end of last year. Uh, looking for that, I was looking for that, uh, that healing side of things. Um, so being out here totally uh, away from it all, I've got a chance to sort of uh, connect with mum, so to speak. Uh, and the first fish, that the f first G2 that I did catch, first few casts, I was looking up in the sky going, mum, help me please, I'm here with the film crew and the boys. And lo and behold, I nailed that big G. Same day, nailed that big cod. Um, and yeah, just to, to show me kids, my kids love seeing me photos and things like that. Um, so I can't wait to get home. And my eldest boy generally catch, catches more bigger fish than what I do. So I'm gonna get home and rub all these photos in his face first minute I get. <laughs> <laughs> Got. Oh, a little GT. Okay. Yeah, we'll just just a little GT on that ride. We'll just shake him off. We'll hold up this magnificent bluefin trevally. I was talking about him yesterday. They are sensational looking fish. Ah, oh, another first for you, Jace. Beautiful. Blue, blue fin, blue spot, whatever you want to call it. Right. Gorgeous trevally. All right, mate. Fish. Let him go. Let him go. Oh, they light up even more in the water. Big, big chunk of bait all the way along the front of that corner there. Straight away, we troll through, we hook up on fish. Worth going back for another look, I'd say. Stay where you are, Jace. It's not a big one, mate. Uh, yeah, there. Look at those things Going around there. Look like trout. Whoa. Oh, come on, out. Black thing. Oh, out of there, kid, out. Oh, he's a little better than I thought. Oh, 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 oh. come on. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> Oh, I can feel him, he's in it already. Oh, he's out. <laughs> Come on, get out. Uh, oh, he's oh. in the hulk. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh it's a shark God. chasing after the trevally or whatever it is. That's why he's going so nuts. Oh, I'm getting shark. Oh, here yeah, oh. they got it. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Look at him, pack of sharks. Ripping it to pieces. Wow. How many sharks is there? That is a... Pack attack. Holy smokes. No wonder he woke up and went so hard at the end, the poor thing. Wow. So it went really hard because it was a little trevally. Hey, you're right, mate, you stay there. But the sharks, man, that is what you call a pack attack. Would have been half a dozen of them easy. Oh, I reckon ripped I reckon it to a, pieces. I reckon a dozen. Those. Oh, that's a big fish just down in there. What was that? The conditions had settled down now, and after hearing a few of the other boats had been jigging up a few fish, we thought we'd also head out and try our luck in the deeper water. Someone was looking down on Jace because before he could even get his jig to the bottom. Oh, big fish. Big fish. Get into him. Go again, drop. Get up here. It's not a monster, but it's a fish. Oh, they come pretty easy. I reckon you still got him. Amber Jack, is it? Yep, fish on, nearly. Rosy jobfish. Oh my gosh, rosy jobfish. What a crazy fish to be catching here. Look at that, one of the most sensational eating fish ever. That is cool. Oh, 
good. Rosie Jobfish. Nice fish, Jason. I think this one will be coming back to Big Cat to see what the chefs can do with it. The current. We're in the zone. Well, it's a rough as guts day. It's our very last day here at Ken Reef, and it looks like the only way we're going to get monster fish is trolling and jigging in the slop. And we've only been going for probably 15 minutes, and already Maddie's onto a decent fish. There's been a few yellowfin caught, some wahoo, dolphin fish, and hopefully today, a little bit closer in, we might be able to find a dog tooth tuna. But he's already in. Let's hope it's a nice big fish. How's it feel, Matty? Yeah, decent. More tension, more shakes. tension. You had shakes. Often in this situation, the, the fish will actually follow the other fish that's hooked. So sometimes it's a good idea just to throw out a stick bait, but on this first fish, let's just get it in the boat. A lot of line out. We'll think about that a little bit later on. We've got colour. No, it's yellow fin. Man, you really can see those uh, yellow fins as it pops out of the... Oh, look at that. That's beautiful in that sunlight. Sick. Gorgeous fish. Just going to spin us around a little bit for you, mate. Yeah, you're right. Help on us. Nice <laughs> fish. <laughs> oh, I'll just go for a walk. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, walk him around. I've got to keep our nose into the slop, mate. Yeah, right. Yes. Nice little lollipop. He's <laughs> <laughs> got you dancing. <laughs> he really does. Okay, you got hooks. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to go around again. <laughs> around and around we go. Step in, grab you, mate. <laughs> you might need to um, tune him. Yep. There will be no donut today. <laughs> Wow. Got him. Yeah, sashimi tonight, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice fish. Oh, that's good fish, eh? Oh, my lord. That certainly makes up for uh, oh. the donut, baby. That's awesome. So Very happy now. <laughs> Fish to the boat, yes! <laughs> In the slop! <laughs> Give him a hug, mate. Give him a hug. Yeah, that's the one! Oh, nice fish! Look at that! Nice yellowfin. <laughs> call this fish for about a uh, good 15 kilos, I'd say. Good 30 pound yellowfin, mate. Well done. Thank you, yellowfin. Nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, settle down, pal. Okay. <laughs> what I love about it is the, uh, another PB for you. Yeah, that's a good fish. I'm stoked with that. And I reckon there's some really big barrels out here as well, so we'll uh, put this guy on ice and yeah. see if we can get a bigger one. Beautiful, sounds good. Look at this beautiful pilot whale. It's bigger than a dolphin and smaller than an orca, and they love yellowfin tuna. So we change spots and change techniques. With a couple of dead baits in the esky and a few solid marks on the sounder, we thought it was time to downrig some dead baits. One problem, we didn't bring the downrigger. I've never seen an uglier rig in my entire <laughs> life. But it works! <laughs> Sometimes when you come out, you, there's all, I mean, it would have been good to bring a downrigger with a downrigger ball, but that's still in the job for us right now. <laughs> that slow swim with a bit of weight. 
as, as you can see, we're getting them down deep. So these fish, uh, they're not nibbling at them or anything like that. They're just taking them in one gulp. Boom. So big single on the nose. Uh, toe point from that position, so it does keep the head down on the fish, and he's doing those things at a slow process. So fingers crossed. We ready? Yeah. All right. You right there, mate? Yep, yep. Inquiry? Yeah, you are on. You are on like Donkey Jeez Kong. Please! <laughs> taking line. You taking line? Yeah. It's really weird. I think it looks like a big jobby to me. Here we go. Cooter. something you can hug. <laughs> well done. Thank you. PV doggy. Absolutely, yeah. Look at the colour in that, in that light. It's amazing. And you can see why they call them dog tooth tuna, folks. Look at the gob on that thing. <laughs> and they get so much bigger than that. Yeah. That is a cool fish. Well done, mate. Thank you. It's only about... Oh, 20 kilos short of the one you need for the challenge. But who cares? Who cares? We're having yeah. fun. No, that's awesome. This morning started off very well with, um, once again, singing reel. Yeah, we obviously chucked the bait down um, and slow trolled that around and then hooked up to a, quite a substantial fish and then ended up being my PB doggy. Um, that's what I come out here for. That's what I thought. You know, that was my most memorable fish. I guess because I've never caught one of that sheer size and yeah I'll never forget that moment to when that was in the boat and wriggling around and yeah it was yeah just an epic experience. That's a fish. Is it? Yep. Yep, that's a big fish. On you Jace. Go Jace. Yes. That's the one we want. Get him, Jace. <laughs> I don't know where no, to take him. Yeah, he's just got to push around the front and he'll be right. Get him <laughs> oh, he busted off. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bugger. <laughs> oh, dear. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Very good fish. What Bye happened? Bye, fishy. <laughs> Had all over me. What happened? I, don't, I, don't, um, uh, I think my line know. touched the front of the boat. Oh, I was trying to get around. Okay. I thought you had it. Oh, uh, yeah. Should have stayed where I was. Should have, could have, would have. Nice bend in that rod, brother. Yeah. It's not a monster, is it? But no, nah, it's still. decent. Good take. How pretty is that guy? Coronation. Ooh. Curly tail coronation. Your curly tail coronation, <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a pretty fish. Never get sick of seeing those guys. He's nah, not quite that's... as dark as the other ones, is he? It's, nah, it's, it's, it's a little softer. A bit pink and little purple, but. See you, buddy. Unfortunately for Matt, we just couldn't find those big fish he needed for the challenge. And with the wind picking up, we moved into the shelter of the atoll for one last cast in the shallows before we made the long journey back to terra firma. Oh, oh yes. Still highly classified. <laughs> oh, 
Have you got any? I have no idea, but just got some weight. Get out. Come on, come back. Oh. Red bass. Nice. Red bass. Good on ya. Maybe that's, this is where they're hiding. Yeah. Look at the colour on that thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't that a good looking fish? There you go, look at him. Beautiful little red bass. Yeah, much, much bigger than this guy. But in this shallow water, a lot of fun to catch. Whew. Gorgeous little red bass. Look at that colour. Amazing. All right, buddy. I'll let you go. Open up those bases. And away he goes. Good fun in the shallows. Just sitting underneath us there. Yeah, so I'm very stoked to be a part of this trip, obviously. Um, it's just been an incredible experience from the day we left to obviously heading home now. Um, just want to thank Big Cat Reality and all the staff. It's just been a really, really cool experience just to be a part of that crew. Um, want to thank Wilson, obviously just make incredible fishing gear. Um, want to thank you, Bergie, for surprising me in the office a few weeks ago now. Uh, Jace for skippering the boat, thanks mate. And then obviously the film crew, just um, good blokes. Everyone has been just really, really good on this trip. Um, couldn't ask for a better crew. Uh, and then last but not least, I want to thank Sheree, my partner, um, for even getting me on this trip. And then I can't wait to see you. And um, that's about it. And my daughter, Aya. <laughs> it's been awesome. <laughs> Oh, I just cried. <laughs> I love that. Well, guys, that uh, brings us to the end of a fantastic trip here with Big Cat Reality at Ken Reef. Their website is on the screen right now. Send them an inquiry. If you're keen to go on a fishing adventure, I'm sure you're never, ever going to forget. Now, of course, for our Fishing Addiction member, Matty, he didn't win the challenge, but he still had an incredible adventure. And that GT, I'm sure, is a fish he will never, ever forget. Now, to give yourself the chance to come on the show, you've got to be a Fishing Addiction member. So go to fishingaddiction.com.au, sign up today, and you never know, I might come knocking on your door. Until next time, I'm Mark Berg. You stay safe, and God bless.